Hut, hut, hype. Hello again, my fellow Bears fans. It's your boy Roy here for another edition of Chicago Football Talk. And what I want to show to you today, the matchup is finally here between the Bears and the Lions. I want to show to you some tendencies I've noticed that the Detroit Lions execute defensively versus the pass, specifically versus four wide receiver looks, whether it's four wide receivers out there or two wide receivers and two tight ends. One thing I noticed the Detroit Lions always do, which I'm sure the Bears have noticed during the extra week to prepare, is that they almost all always blitz versus this look and also they're hesitant to take off of their third linebacker in order to add a defensive back so let's take a look at how that shapes out specifically with five examples versus the philadelphia eagles and what the eagles did and what the bears can do to take advantage of that tendency something i expect to see tonight let's get right into it Starting with this first play where the Eagles come out with four wide receiver personnel and one running back. This is in the first quarter. Notice right away the Detroit Lions have matched up that personnel that they saw in the huddle with three defensive linemen and three linebackers. Again, taking one defensive lineman out in, instead of another linebacker in order to add five DBs that we see here. Shifting to the line view, we see that the three defensive linemen are going to come through, of course. And that all three linebackers and the nickel is going, who's lined up along the line of scrimmage are all going to come on this play. So they're basically sending three extra guys if you include the four. But the three linebackers and the safety are all coming on this play. As we move forward here, look at the cushion that these four wide receivers have to work with here. Again, this is something I'm sure the Bears see on tape. And they're going to run a lot of short routes there and easily can pick up yards and then let their receivers make plays after the catch. Taking a look at the next play, this is in the second quarter. The Eagles are going to come out with a four wide receiver, one tight end alignment. Predictably, the Detroit Lions again come out, leaving one defensive lineman off of the field in favoring three linebackers instead, leaving them with five DBs in the back. Again, predictably, the Lions are going to blitz again. One of the linebackers and one of the DBs, presumably the nickel, are both going to come on this play. Now, what I want you to look at is how this leaves the Lions exposed. Right here, you see they have a linebacker matched up on a wide receiver, which is a total mismatch for any of the Bears wide receivers versus any of the Detroit Lions linebackers. As we move forward again, since the nickel is blitzing on this play, this also leaves the wide receiver with a free release here to run a quick slant to pick up some quick, cheap yards. Lastly, with the linebacker coming on the opposite side there, the tight end can easily just do a chip block and then release to also get free cheap yards for Jay Cutler here. As long as the Bears game plan for the Detroit Lions tendency to always blitz if you show them four wide receivers, they can do things like this to take advantage of that tendency. Moving forward to this next play, this is the first play of the third quarter. The Eagles have the ball. They've clearly made halftime adjustments, adjusting to the Lions' tendency to blitz on every four wide receiver look. They come out with four wide receivers and one running back to execute a running play to take advantage of the fact that they pull up a defensive lineman, as you see they did again here. Three defensive line, three linebackers. That screams, let's run the ball against these guys this time. Shifting to the line of scrimmage view here, we're going to take a look at what the Lions are going to do, of course. Course, the linemen are going to rush and again they're going to blitz predictably anytime you give them a four wide receiver look the outside linebacker is going to blitz here as well as the nickel is going to blitz from the edge the eagles are going to take advantage of it they're going to have their left guard crack down on the nose tackle their right guard is going to pull and take care of whoever he sees in order to seal that off and create an alley for the running back to hit this play up through as we move forward, you see the blocking starting to develop. You see the Lions predictably blitzing. The guard pulls for the Eagles here, seals off the edge, and the running back has nothing. But look at that huge hole you could drive a truck through, and it's up to him to make some nice shifty moves and make uh, gain some yards there. As we move forward to the fourth quarter, I want to show you this play because this is the way I think the Bears will take advantage of it the most. The Eagles are going to come out in a two-wide receiver, two tight end, one running back alignment. They split out one of the tight ends, so they're only showing three wide receivers. As such, the Detroit Lions keep four defensive linemen down and have three linebackers in as the personnel to match up with that the Eagles have showed in the huddle. Here's where the magic happens. As we move forward, the Eagles are actually going to pull up Selleck, the tight end's hand off of the ground and line them up in a wide receiver position. Since the Eagles give them a four wide receiver look by lifting up the tight end like that, the Detroit Lions respond 
respond by audibling, if you will, and having their defensive end, Willie Young, on this play stand up. Again, taking a lineman away from the line of scrimmage here. And again, because this happens, you see the linebacker is going to move up to the line of scrimmage, and he's going to blitz on this play. Both him and the defensive end are going to come on this play. Because the Lions make this adjustment and they're going to blitz, the DBs know this as well as they're playing off of the wide receivers. What I want you to look at, look at all the room that the wide receiver has to work with here on the wide side of the field. There's plenty of room there to run an out or even to break off an out and then go deep down the sidelines here for a big play here. With the Bears having two weeks to prepare and the Lions showing these kind of consistent tendencies, I could see the Bears having Kellen Davis actually release along the line of scrimmage about two or three yards deep and run towards the sideline in the area that the wide receiver clears out here. Imagine the DB trying to take down the six foot seven Kellen Davis. We've already seen that he's shown a tendency to be very tough to take down, getting a lot of yards after contact. Another thing the Bears could do here is easily have Matt Forte split out wide before the play snaps, actually. Once you have Matt Forte on the outside, I would actually have the wide receiver run a post route to bring the attention of the safety, which should open up the receivers on the other side as well. And then have Matt Forte run one of his classic wheel routes that he usually gets for huge 40-yard touchdowns or just huge gains. He's a great weapon at wide receiver, and that's something they could easily do here, something I'm sure the Bears had the Bears coaches salivating over when they saw this kind of stuff on tape by the Detroit Lions, these tendencies that you game plan for. Last but not least, I take you to another fourth quarter play in which the Philadelphia Eagles take full advantage of the Detroit Lions' tendencies. They line up with three wide receivers here on the near side of the field and another wide receiver giving them four total and one running back in the backfield. Shifting to the line of scrimmage view so we can get a better look at the Detroit Lions alignment here, they come out with three defensive line, again three linebackers pulling one defensive line off there, and of course they're going to blitz. The linebacker and the nickel are going to blitz predictably. And not only that, they're also going to bring the other two linebackers to the inside with a focus on wherever the running back goes here. To add to the confusion on this play and to further take advantage of the Detroit Lions tendencies, the Eagles shifted Deshaun Jackson to become the new outside wide receiver, which forced the defensive back for the Lions to take him. This is where the confusion came in, too, because originally the Lions knew who they had to cover. They knew who was taking the slot receiver. But now you got two guys on the inside. What happens is the Detroit Lions aren't quick enough and make the wrong adjustment. Two guys end up covering the original slot receiver, thereby leaving Macklin wide open for a touchdown here. You're going to see as the play, as we move forward and the receivers are starting to run their routes, you see that both the Detroit Lions guys cover the original slot receiver, and that leaves Jeremy Macklin wide open. He raises his hand. Vic sees it. They take advantage of it, and he's got nobody, to, nothing but green grass to go to hit the end zone for a touchdown. I'm sure that Devin Hester and Brandon Marshall and all the wide receivers and quarterbacks and coaches were salivating when they saw that happen. That's something that I expect them to do tonight, Monday night, to take advantage of these Lions tendencies. That's what game planning is all about right there. Just look at the tape. Look at what your opponent has done. Notice their tendencies and the game plan will create itself. I'm sure the Bears saw that and more. The way I expect them to take advantage of the Lions always blitzing when you give them a forward wide receiver look. Always pulling up one defensive lineman instead of a linebacker to add an extra defensive back to the backfield. Is for them to come out with two wide receivers and two tight ends and then shift into that look and then take advantage of the Lions tendencies that they've shown also too i wouldn't be surprised if they go with maybe a four wide receiver one tight end look or four wide receiver one running back look that could be how they use uh, hester to run the ball or what have you but basically taking advantage of the fact that the lions blitz almost every time you give them a four wide receiver look they're going to take alignment off and they're going to blitz so i'm sure the bears saw that and more and we can expect to see things like that tonight on monday night when the bears take the lions at soldier field in, in a few hours here so i hope you enjoy the game follow along at the hashtag cft bears on twitter i will be breaking down as many plays as need to be broken down in between the plays live on twitter with cft bears and i'll also have a chat up on chicagofootballtalk.com as always your pleasure to break down some tendencies some tape the tape don't lie stats do and your boy roy for chicago football talk enjoy the game i'll see you on twitter tonight